What's up guys, back with another twin motion tutorial. I'm gonna show you how I use twin motion to render this modern cabin using Path Tracer. Let's get right into the video. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is, of course, you wanna create your scene, right? So you can go to your plus sign and you will add your image right when you get the view that you want. I've already saved my view, so we're just going to go to render one. We'll turn the path tracer off for now. So right now we are in Lumen, but we're not doing Lumen today. We are doing path tracer. So I'm going to kind of give you a walkthrough of my path tracer settings, how I got the end results, and hopefully this tutorial will be helpful for you. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button for me and um, hit the notification bell too. All right, so right now we have our environment tab. We're gonna change our time of day. I'm gonna do 10 o'clock, all right? You know what, 10.30. Okay, so now we go our details and we have our sun intensity at 25. I actually wanna bring that down a lot to two. I kind of want this area to be a little dark, not too dark, but of course I want to give this cabin a little bit of a, a little personality um, in this space. And let's go down. So we got our sun size, sun reflection. Those all look good to me. Um, I do want to boost up my ambient to Okay. So now we're going to keep scrolling down, kind of look at our options here. We got weather. If you want to change your weather, you can do that, of course. Um, you can make it snow if you want to. Uh, we're not going to do that in this tutorial. I mean, it is around Christmas time. Why not? But I may do that in another tutorial. But for now, let's stay focused on the path tracer. All right. So now we can go to our location and right now we have our location set to zero degrees i want to change my location um let's do still 180 degrees and you saw that that kind of took away some of our sun but that's okay we'll get some of that back um we'll make some more adjustments so right now our month is in May. I'm gonna change it to July. Okay. So we're gonna scroll down to HDR environment. Right now we have it enabled. That's what I want. I want to keep it on the backdrop, and I'm gonna change my intensity down from one to 0.65, and we'll do our rotation at 180. Okay. Alright, so let me see something here. We'll keep that to zero. Alright. So now I'm just kind of looking at my positioning. We're using the match sun to HDRI. I want to click that. So it's matching my HDRI, which is we're using the HDRI approaching storm. Of course, if you want to change that, you can go to the three dots here. You can go to the library, and Twin Motion has different type of HDR environments that you can use. Uh, we're gonna stick to the uh, standard H approaching sun storm, which is already selected for us, so we'll keep that one. All right, so now we're gonna go to camera. And right now I got my auto exposure checked. I want to keep that checked and I'm going to keep that at one. My white balance, I want to bring it down some. Instead of 6800, <clears throat> which is more warm, we're going to go to 5700, kind of give us a cooler tone that I'm looking for. We have our vocal exposure and we will leave that enabled and our highlights set 50. I'm going to change that to 
and my shadows I'm gonna bring my shadows down to 0 0.25 guys if you're liking this video don't forget to hit that like button for me and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment down below and if you're interested in this model you can go to renderreboot.com and uh, check out that model this model is fully detailed um, customized and uh, you can get a lot of um, you get a lot of good good help out of it uh, a lot of cool features in this model um, very very detailed model so if you have any questions just let me know all right so right now on our lens we got a focal length at 18 I'm gonna I want to move in closer I want a close-up shot so we change it to 23 millimeters all right so we're gonna keep our use focal length checked and now we got our details so now we want to kind of change the vignetting so those who are unaware what vignetting does it kind of darkens the outer corners of our image and for this instance I want to just move it up just a little bit and as you can see our corners got a little dark and I'll, I'll boost it up just a little bit just kind of show you the difference you see that and it kind of just homes in on the image but I'm gonna keep that at 55 our sharpness is at 50% I'm gonna move that down to 25% chromatic abrasion make it one and I want to, we don't have to align our camera on this one, but I do want to check parallelism. So guys, you know, parallelism ensures that the vertical parallel lines appear vertical, regardless of the view and of the angle of the camera. So if I move the camera at different angles, you know, we'll still be parallel. That's important. All right, so right now, I'm gonna leave my near clipping at 1.75. Depth of field. We are going to enable our depth of field. I'm going to pick focus and I want my cabin to be the center focus. So I pick that and I'm going to change my distance. And my aperture is at 3 and our bokeh shape is at 10. We'll keep that the same. Film back. I'm going to enable my film back. Before I do that, I'm going to go to image, I'm going to go to my output size, I'm going to change it to 4K. We'll do tile blender. Alright, so now I want to enable my path tracer. And as you can see, it's on low quality. And we're gonna crank that all the way up to 20.48. My max bounce, I'm gonna do 30. Fireflies, I'm gonna keep it at 15. I'm gonna check our denoiser. All right, so now we're gonna go to camera. So now I'm gonna go back to my film back. I'm gonna enable that. And right now, my film bag is at full frame DSLR. I believe I want to change that to full frame. Let me change that to full frame DSLR. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we'll keep it at the full frame DSLR. And enable details. Okay. All right, right now we got our render. Okay, so let's change some of our FX. I'm gonna go to FX color grading. I'm going to 65%. Saturation, we're at 50%. I'm gonna change this to 35. Color gradient, we are gonna add a color gradient. As you know, Twin Motion has different, multiple choices. Um, I use for this particular rendering, I use the day midday so that's what we're gonna use today all right so let's see if we can find it all right day midday all right so now that we have day midday everything else is set up <clears throat> let's see what's going on with our let's see what's
setting I got here. <clears throat> All right, so here, here we go. We got our sun intensity set really high. This, this is the issue. So it said 100,000, make it two. All right, guys.